Hey, everybody, this is Tom Sharpling, and welcome to Best Show Gems, the best of the best show on WFMU. Basically, this is a podcast we're going to do every other week, giving you a uh, bite sized version of all the mirth and mayhem that goes on every week on the best show on WFMU. So please check out this exciting clip. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, hello, son. Um, I was wondering if you had any information on the Paul Simon concert this Sunday at the PNC Center. The Paul Simon concert this yeah. Sunday. I no, I I know nothing about the Paul Simon concert. Well, what, I, was, what, I was curious about the start time. I have absolutely no idea. Because the uh, the tickets say seven thirty, but I wasn't sure if Mr. Simon actually goes on then or, or not. Uh huh. Um, but you don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll I'll try. Uh, I've tried the box office, but they've been very uh, uncooperative. Uh, ugh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll find out somehow. But I was wondering if in the meantime, um, could you maybe play a Paul Simon tune for me? Uh, anything? Get, get ready for the show. Uh huh. Well, I, I play some Paul Simon. Is there something specific you want to hear? Uh, love to hear something like me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Um... You know, I can try to play it. Okay. I can try to play it. Who should I send it Very out nice. to? Uh, you could send it out to me, I, I guess. Okay. Who's this? Montgomery. Montgomery. That's yeah. your first name? Yes. Montgomery in uh, Newbridge. Huh. That's actually a... There's actually another Montgomery... Uh, there's a judge in Mon- in uh, Newbridge with the, with Montgomery is the name. Uh, Montgomery Davies. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Are you, are you do you know that guy? Uh, I I do yes. Because uh, he was I, I guess he had this whole controversy kind of uh, like where he got in a lot of trouble. Uh huh. He kind of had this. I mean, and again, I'm uh, you know I'm on the radio, so I got to be a little careful about how I say this. There was like a device that he uh-huh. had when he was on the bench and it was it was really kind of weird i guess it was something he had under his robe and then he eventually ended up getting disbarred well um maybe this this judge didn't think that he was hurting anybody by by using that device do you ever think of that <laughs> are are can i are, are you judge davies Yes, son, I am. Why? Oh, my. This is, well, I got to say, this is, there. I've read so many articles and kind of reporting about this whole thing uh-huh. with the, you know, again, on the radio. So it's a, this device, Well, you know, coming from on the bench, you know, people heard us like it was like a sound, I remember. I remember it was it was like a uh, was it your stenographer? It must have been your stenographer because I remember it was the stenographer. It must have been your stenographer said it was like a like a whoosh. Sheila sound. said that. Yeah, Sheila. They said it was like a whooshing sound, followed by like a like a dull kind of like low impact thud. But but the weird like people would be in the courtroom and nobody knew what that was. Right. Yeah, that's what they said. Uh huh. Well, I, can can I ask you, Judge? Uh huh. How like how how long were you actually like uh, using the like with that device? Well, son, um, not that I feel I have to answer to anyone on this, specifically you, or that it's any of your business. Uh, all right. In in all honesty, I've, I've been using it for, for quite some time. Uh-huh. And uh, let me state again that I was not her- harming or hurting anybody by the use of this device. Uh-huh. But uh, I've been using it for about 22 years, yes. Not the, not the exact same one, of course. You know, they were 
they were a little different back back in the mid eighties. The they were. Yeah. Okay. The device. Yeah. So so you were kind of. It's just it's just like how. Well. Well, the original ones, like I said, were were, were actually quite different. Mm-hmm. They were they were made of ivory, and they were they were more square, and the ones that you you have today are roundish, and they're made of either polyurethane or treated birch, and the the old ones uh, also utilized a series of small tension rods, a uh, large flywheel, as well as uh, this kind of small cushion that was made of either foam or fiberglass. The one that I got caught with, which was not even really a state-of-the-art one at all, uh, it was from the late 90s, mm-hmm. and, and uh, while it was a good one, it did, it did actually leave a, quite a bit to be desired. How so? Well, there was the whole issue of the fishing line, and that, that stuff's hard to keep untangled, uh-huh. especially if you're not using the recommended uh, kind of oil. That stuff's very hard to find in Newbridge for some reason, and I had to order it directly from the company that actually made the device. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, it was always on back order. They couldn't keep it in stock, so I'd have to use this different weight uh, oil that you could only get in uh, you know, certain convenience stores here. And, but that stuff didn't really help out in the detangling department, uh-huh. and it also left a thick uh, residue ring on the inside of the canister receptacle. And sometimes there could be a large amount of smoke when the device went in, into the next gear. Smoke? There could be... I mean, how was, how was the thing smoking? Well, there was the whole issue of this, you know, the kind of the overload. You know, but the, the really upscale ones now are 100% digital. Digital. Yeah. Really? So you had one that had like fishing line. Well, that was the old days. Yeah. So what are, with these digital ones? What is the? Well, there's no problem with backfiring or stall outs. Uh huh. And they actually give you a read out. A read out. Uh huh. Like a, a read out. Like what do you mean? Like a little paper uh, prints out or something? Uh huh. Oh my god! And what? What? Hello? Yeah. What? What is it printing out? You know the. I I really don't want to get into that. Okay, fair enough. But they're really silent too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually ordered one and it got screwed up at the factory. It was not only the wrong size, but it came with these toggle switches, not the acrylic uh, push button controls like in the ad. Uh huh. Wow, toggle switches. That is, I mean, there's the matter of you being in the in a courtroom. Yeah. And and it just being uh, concealed. Yes. Tough, you know. I actually did try one of the digital ones, and it, it, it was very nice, a, a very smooth performance. Uh huh. But like you said, the noise of the device that I was caught with, what kind of did me in? Sure. I tried all these kinds of uh, noise filters for it, but nothing really worked. Noise? Like, what do you mean? Like a, like some sort of like windscreen? Judge? I lost you there. I'm sorry. That's all right. Well, there was the issue of how to keep the water pressure at a good level, uh-huh. but not have the noise of the microjets get too loud. Uh huh. So it was a real battle. Sure. And the one I had on order utilized this high density steam as opposed to the water jets, and that made for a very uh, top shelf performance. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a real testament to man's ingenuity how these things kind of evolved over the years. Hmm. If you look in books from the 18th and 19th centuries, yeah, it, it's really something. 
like in the very early days of, of the device, they uh, used to be made out of this paste made from straw, sheepskin, and granite. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine using one of those things made out of stone? S- straw, sheepskin, and granite? Yeah. Wow. It doesn't sound very good, does it? No. And I mean, I, I've seen pictures of the one that Babe Ruth used. And while it's a step up from the devices that Ben Franklin and, say, Billy the Kid used, it's still positively barbaric. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine so. I mean, the grommets, if you can even call them that, they were fashioned out of, uh, out of corn husks. And, and get this, uh-huh. they would use a cone made from coal as a disbursement mechanism. Coal yeah. to, to, as a disbursement mechanism. Yeah. I mean, who knows how far they're going to go with these things. Yeah, I guess it's really just a matter of where the technology goes. Well, that's why I'm, I, I, uh, I want to talk to you. Uh-huh. That's actually where I'm focusing my attention right now. Okay. I've just finished a prototype of a device that's positively space-age. Really? It's going to change how we think about the device. Okay. You're not going to believe this, son. All right, I'm, I'm ready. It's all one piece. Huh. I didn't think that would be possible. Guess what it runs on? I have no idea. Body heat. And it's positively sound free. Uh huh. It's got these noise canceling shields next to the motor housing. So you, you. So it's pretty much a, like a foolproof setup. Totally, yeah. Damn. It looks like a small Formula One race car. Okay going to revolutionize everything and i want to know if you want to invest in this thing get some, some startup money maybe i've lost my pension and everything because of the incident uh-huh yeah um, i'm really not in the market to invest in anything please, come on please i'm afraid not would you be at least interested in modeling it for the ads oh no no way why not B- because I, I i am not a i'm not a i'm not a client are you ashamed of your abs because the abs will be in the picture. Again, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a uh, pro. Uh, you don't approve of the. Debr- of no, the debr- not that I don't approve of it. I'm just not. A, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a client. You will be one. Um. Okay. Right now, I'm not. You will be though. So what? I, I would feel uncomfortable uh, getting involved from a financial standpoint. I'm going to have to order one of the one of the current judges to make you a client. You what's that? I'm going to order one of the current judges who's still on the bench to make you a client of mine. How, how can you order a judge to make me use uh, a, a device that I have no interest in using? Because several of the judges owe me. Uh-huh. Because I've outfitted them with devices. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I want to outfit you with a device. I have no interest in, in that. Absolutely no interest. Ugh. Yuck. I'm using one of the old ones right now. Why? You're disgusting. Come on. What? Let's have a device a phone. Just you and me. No! Get off my phone! How dare you! Device a thon. Ah, uh, what was that? Well, thank you for listening to Best Show Gems, the best of the best show on WFMU. If you like what you just heard, the full-length program is done each and every Tuesday night from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen on your radio in the New York, New Jersey area at 91.1 FM or anywhere on the globe at WFMU.org. WFMU.org also has an extensive archiving of all the previous episodes of The Best Show. And you can get more information on the program over at friendsoftom.com. I want to thank a few people, if I could. Martin DeGrell, the producer and compiler of Best Show Gems. Thank you, Martin. 
Mel Matsuoka, who is the producer of the full-length three-hour Best Show podcast each and every week, and the protector of the Best Show and WFMU archives. Thank you, Mel. John Worcester, obviously, thank you. Associate producer Mike and everybody at WFMU, thank you so much. If you like what you just heard, check out the full-length show. Uh, You can download the podcast or listen live at WFMU.org.